was really difficult to make a decision. Um, we had a number of really good candidates in the final round. Dr. Evroni's essay made it in the end because he was such an engaging writer. Um, it was clear right from the start when we read it that this was exceptionally good science. But on top of that, he really managed to grip the reader. My research has been focused on understanding to what degree genetic mutations accumulate in our brain cells. And to do this, um, I developed together with colleagues technologies to sequence the genomes of single brain cells. And we discovered that there are many types of mutations in normal brain cells and that every brain is a sort of mosaic patchwork of genetic mutations. The brain is incredibly complex and I believe that our progress in understanding the brain will depend to a large degree on the development of new technologies and I hope to contribute to that. My research aims at understanding how the brain attributes a positive or negative values to our perceptions and subsequently guides our behavior. The brain circuits that are um, necessary for this function are uh, also essential to our survival. You can imagine if you start uh, approaching dangerous situations or avoid uh, seeking reward food. Uh, so there is an emerging hypothesis in the field that posits that these very same circuits are uh, causally involved in pathologies such as anxiety, depression or addiction. But this hypothesis remains untested and the main reason why is because we still don't know how the healthy brain uh, encodes value or how we technically call it uh, emotional valence. So together with my colleagues at uh, MIT in the Thai lab, we uh, identified how divergent circuits from a single brain region uh, differentially encode positive and negative valence. I was always fascinated by neuroscience uh, because of its potential to uh, understand and eventually cure uh, psychiatric diseases. The research that I've done has been to learn more about how neurons form specific connections. And um, the problem there is that developing neurons face uh, a staggering number of targets uh, to form connections with and they only form connections with a select few. And how that kind of selectivity happens is not totally clear. And so what we did was to study the um, assembly of circuits in the retina, and we used some methods to map out connectivity among cells, uh, some methods to mark and manipulate different kinds of neurons. And what we discovered was that um, these neurons form these specific connections by first choosing to grow their um, processes into a particular layer and then choosing to form synapses with particular targets in that layer. And the two events, a choice for layers and a choice for synapse, uh, appear to be directed by two families, two gene families of adhesion molecules. We could take some of the insights that we're gathering here and perhaps move further up the chain in the visual pathway and ask how general some of the rules we've discovered here are for these brain circuits and perhaps tackle the, the next phase where um, neural activity seems to sculpt these patterns uh, as it must in order for um, these circuits to work. So there are not many awards for young scientists and this award for a young scientist like myself brings attention to my work and helps me have a chance to continue to pursue my research ideas. It's of course an incredible honor and recognition to have been selected by a committee including uh, well-known neuroscientists and uh, uh, editors from one of the most prestigious scientific journals. If you look at the past winners, um, there's so many excellent scientists and I'm so glad to be counted among their ranks. My advice to other researchers considering entering next year is to take time to think as broadly as possible about the implications of your research and what it means and to really let the enthusiasm about your work come through as you're writing it. Don't be shy, don't think about all the other amazing neuroscientists, uh, just focus on your science and I think it will actually become a very enriching and a fun exercise. I think the perspective you gain from writing this is going to help you out in your uh, thinking and how you plan out your future directions, so definitely do it.